Okay, so excuse the lighting. I have my Christmas white lights up in my room because I love it. I think it's amazing. It's beautiful and it brightens up the room. And it really don't do it justice on camera because it's beautiful. And the way it makes the bowls on my wall glow, the way it makes everything glow is beautiful. And I have it throughout the whole apartment. So story time. I went to... um a store today on East Tremont in the Bronx and I wanted to get me these sheets that I just showed y'all and when I went so when I went into the store I tried to get into the store when I approached the store the cashier of the store was standing in the doorway of the store and why she stepped in front of me when I tried to get into the store like she didn't want me to come into the store so she was sitting here acting like she was looking for somebody when she didn't want me to come in. So I'm looking at her. I'm like, hello, how you doing? And I'm trying to get in. So I'm like, are you going to let me in the store or not? She was trying to keep me from coming in the store. But I'm sitting here like, don't play that racist car with me because money is money. And there's a lesson that she needed to learn because... I don't understand if, I don't know if she don't like black peoples or what, but me and one of the black women was trying to get into the store to buy an item and she didn't want us to buy it. But I'm looking at her like, okay, well, I want to purchase a bed sheet. So I picked up the bed sheet sets and I was like, I'm going to buy it. How much? She said it's $12. So I was like, fine. And then she charged me a dollar five extra. I'm like, okay, whatever. I guess she thought if she keeps charging me more, I wouldn't want to buy it and walk out the store. So take it how y'all want to take it. But to me, I think that was a sign of racist and prejudice at the same time. And then I played it cool. I was nice to her. I, was being, I wasn't being rude. Because at the end of the day, you're not doing me a favor, but I am doing you a favor. Because if it wasn't for us around this neighborhood... Your store wouldn't be open. Let's put it like this. You need our money. We don't need your money. We're not the one that's running a business. You need our money to keep your store open. And for you to have your store located in the middle of a mixed race neighborhood. And for you to be acting like you don't want us in your store. I think that's pretty crazy and weird. Because if that's the case, you would not be sitting here in the middle of our neighborhoods trying to gain customers. So you obviously see that customers that you're looking for is our skin tone. So if I was you, I wouldn't be so racist or prejudiced. Then she did it again to another black woman. An older black woman, she like she could be my grandmother. She comes and she's like, oh, I'm looking for a queen size, you know, bed sheet. And I pointed to the direction that I just came from. And I was like, you can get in there. So she went in there. The lady was like, oh, Lord. Like she like looked at her like, oh, my God. So I'm like, wow. Like, do you do this to all color peoples? Like, it was kind of crazy because. You, it's like you're sitting here. I don't get it. This one, like, you're in the middle of a mixed race neighborhood, meaning that there's blacks, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, all types of races here. And she's Spanish herself. So I guess she was only expecting her own people to be there because when she had a few black customers come in, she acted like she didn't want us in the store. And she blocked us from coming into the store. But when a Puerto Rican woman came in, she introduced herself and she showed her two or three items. And I was like, wow, you couldn't even do that to me when I came in looking for bed sheets. So I was like, okay, whatever. Like I say, I'm not going to let that get to me because there's a lot worse shit that has been told to me. There's a lot of worse shit that has been done to me than somebody acting racist. So no, I don't let that get to me. But at the same time, it's like it's really kind of fucked up. So y'all let me know what, how would y'all take it? How would y'all feel if you was to go inside of a department store and somebody that worked in the store didn't want you in there and they would stop you from coming in? Would you say something? Would you keep it moving? What would you do? Because this was crazy.